Hi everybody, this is Michael from MC Engineering. We've got a Yaskawa Collaborative Robot in the house today. We're doing a quick demo with one of our uh, suppliers, Nuff Power. And we're going to just run through a quick teach on this robot, and then we're going to put it in a continuous cycle and run it. So, without further ado, I'm just going to do a real simple motion here. Maybe this would be a pickup point. Maybe this will be a place point inside a process machine. And I'm just pushing a button to release it. Maybe this could be an inspection point. And maybe this would be a final product complete. And maybe this would be pause for the next process. Operator Dan in the background there can put this in continuous cycle and we can go through and cycle that program that we just taught. We don't have an end effector today, but you understand that we could put a multitude of different end effectors on the machine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and speed up the robot and get it up to 100%. That way you can see the max speed of this Yaskawa Collaborative robot. It's dynamic load if you hit it, simulating hitting a person that's just in the way of the robot. It'll stop the robot, but it'll allow you to hit the reset to continue the program. If instead it reaches a static load, say someone pinched between an object and the robot, it actually behaves differently. They stop the robot, it backs away from the direction that it was going, like this, it'll back away, and then you cannot reset it simply by pressing the reset. And that's because if someone's been pinched by the robot, you don't want to be able to reset it and then pinch them again. You want to give them the opportunity to get away, go back to the pendant, and restart the program. So if a dynamic, now I can press the reset and it'll keep doing its program. It's an intelligent methodology because if it pinched you, you could potentially not get, a, get out. And if your only option is to have somebody either either come and reach the pendant because it might not be within reach, um, and try to back the robot away, that's not ideal. So again, if you apply a static, it back away. Now I can't. If I reset it, it resets, but it doesn't start the program until Dan starts it again. Thank you. 